Hey everybody, this is Coach Neil here, and I got my friend Sean with me, and we're at the Hayabusa Academy here in Kingston, uh, in uh, Canada. We're gonna work on some uh, attacks inside the guard today. I'm just gonna teach a basic toe hold. Now the reason why I'm teaching it is because I never see it. Uh, when you do like certain locks in the guard, you don't have to fall back, roll, or give up position. You can stay in position, and, and it can lead to other things. All right, so, Let's get started here. Okay, so John on his back. And I'm inside his, his guard here. Now, when I, you know, in, if you're a leg lock guy, you actually kind of want to be in the guard because the feet are elevated. You know, when the feet are elevated, you already got one thing going for you. So I'm not going to attack him necessarily if his, if his guard is locked, but I can start to use pressure and pain in situations or even stalling to get him to unlock his guard. I'm not a big fan of always trying to open the legs. My, my thing is if I'm creating the right pressure and he's gonna attack, he's gonna open it for me. So why spend the energy? That's just me, okay? So I'm gonna be here. I like, I like playing in and I like using my head. If I'm using my head and grinding here, I'm already putting him at a disadvantage. If he wants to move, I'll, he's gonna telegraph everything. If his shoulders are curled up and his head's up, the small of the back's on the mat, he's gonna be fast. So that's when I have to be a little sharp. But if his head's on the mat, his spine, his abs are relaxed, there's too much friction, he's gonna move slow. Everything will be telegraphed when his head comes off the mat. So what I like to do here, I'll start grinding, and I'll start wearing on him, fighting for the inside, and I'm gonna wait until I feel a little pressure release, and that's his guard opening. Now when I feel that, I'm gonna do a half saddle. So whether I'm near or I'm working, I'm just gonna do a half saddle. This is a half saddle. This is a full saddle, okay? A half saddle is just this, I'm crimping. I'm crimping. It's like, uh, the reason why I call it a saddle is like, you, if you're a horse, you see those jockeys, they're like this. And what it does is kind of, it kind of locks like a, an impingement on his hip and it gives him one direction of movement, okay? So when I'm here, I'm pressuring. Now I got my half saddle. All right, I'm nice and tight here. My hands are still free. Some guys I know like to crimp tight, but it's my chest, his thigh, locking tight. Now, I never want to turn, and I don't like saying never, but I don't see the point of it, okay? So when I'm here, I'm staying low, I'm being strong, nice and strong here, and then I can move. What I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna focus on my opponent and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab the toes. Don't grab the foot, grab the toes. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to winch my saddle and push. And it's kind of like, a, like if you're in a boat, you're gonna create like a rudder. This is my rudder, okay? So I'm in, I got my half saddle, I'm on my toe, I'm grabbing his toes. And I'm gonna start pushing the rudder. He's naturally gonna move away because he's feeling it in his knee or his hip. The weaker joint always goes first. And as I'm pushing, now I'm gonna time. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna catch my figure four. Okay. So when I catch my figure four, I'm gonna crimp, and I don't like doing this too much. I like to grab. And the reason for that is that right here in the foot, He's got some strength. If, I'm one, if he's gonna flex his foot, to me, I don't, this is gonna be strong. When I grab this, I can kind of create a crimp. My thumb's driving into the arch of his foot, and he can tell, like, it doesn't feel good. I can see the, the tendon stretching. I feel like I got a good grip. So when I, when I pop back, I lock. Now when I lock, I wanna be high. I don't wanna create space. I wanna be high. Now, where people get this is that they start to push. You don't push, okay? Keep it tight. Now, I'm gonna start driving towards him. When I start driving, you have your choice here. You can try to run it up, his, your knee up to his head. You can stand, but I wanna create some pressure, okay? And what does the toe hold lock is not this, that's a, that's a misunderstanding. If he's flexible here, it's gonna keep going. It's actually this arm coming back. This comes back. That's what actually separates and starts tearing the tendons 
and it creates the impingement, okay? So when I got my hat, I come here, I catch. Now I'm gonna bring it to my sternum, bring him forward, and now he's gonna feel my left elbow come back. Oh, I got a little pop there. Sorry about that, buddy. So I'm in, I'm riding, fighting, being inside, controlling. I feel the guard open, saddle, control. Now I feel pretty safe. I'm going to cover the toes. I'm going to start using my rudder, and I'm going to bring my leg back, and I'm going to catch. Rudder, catch. Drive forward, and here's my impingement. And you can see, like, once he turns here, if something goes wrong, I got a clear cut to jump on him. Much better situation than his hands driving me crazy and trying to re-grab. So, I'm grinding, using my head, creating problems. This is obviously more MMA style, but it works. And I'm waiting for that guard to open. Here, half saddle, in control, face my opponent, grab the foot. Create the, the rudder effect, slide back, catch. Come forward, and now watch my left hand. Don't watch my right, watch my left. That's what creates the impingement. And now from here, if something goes wrong, I mean, this ain't bad, is it? It's not bad at all. This is a nice, simple toehold, okay? You know, it's not a lot of risk. Very safe, very basic. But don't, don't throw it away. Don't push. You throw something, you lose it. In, drive, retract, retract. And that will get that ankle to go. And that's what it's gonna do. Very simple, very safe, not too difficult. All right, so try this at home when you get there. Play around with it, and then you'll start gelling sequences. Like, ah, if I fail, I'm gonna go here. If I fail, I'm gonna go here. But you're gonna see going back, is, is you're gonna feel pretty safe doing it. Work on that half saddle as well. Okay, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Sean. Fantastic job getting your ankle popped. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Hayabusa video. Subscribe to Hayabusa's channel right now and check out all my Grand Marshall videos the ones that you don't tune in for. And if you don't subscribe, your training partners are gonna learn it and they're gonna tap you out with it and you're gonna feel like a fool. Do it now, watch them all, have a blast. I'll see you on the next video.